Welcome to Yukon Survival. Uh, today we're gonna go for a hike in the woods, up that direction, up the hill there, hopefully find a spot we can set up a tarp, I'm gonna cook a lunch. Um, you know, the main goal is just to uh, play with some of my new uh, equipment and get up out there in the wild and have some fun. Um, you know, I do have my rifle with me and my hunting license, just on the off chance we come across a bear or a moose. Um, they're definitely on the menu. So stay tuned. Let's get out there and have some fun. We won't find views like this one inside. Fucking incredible out here. Quite the walk. I got more to go. I'm gonna go up higher. Beautiful day. I think this is going to be the spot. A couple of trees over there. I'll probably set up the tarp. Um, I'm filming that. Um, yeah. Take it in. Incredible. Yeah, then we'll have a fire out here and uh, cook some grub, you know. It'll be a good time. So I'll probably just hook the rig line up between a couple of these trees. You know, I'm not actually sheltering here. I just want to play with the tarp a bit and get used to it. So I'm just going to do limbs from these limbs here and get on her. Oh, I did bring some cordage for the ridge line. So I bought this years ago in Vegas. It's just one of those paracords, pre-made. I've always wondered if it was actual paracord or if it was just a gimmick. So I think today is the day we're gonna figure out if this is actually paracord or if it's a gimmick. Yeah. Join me after I'm done wrestling with this. Well, here's to find out if he's a gimmick or not. To me, freehand looking, seems pretty gimmicky. The side doesn't have any actual, oh, well, I'll be damned. It's not an actual paracord strand, but it definitely has extra strands in there. It's a decent amount of cordage. So the paracord bracelet cord just wasn't long enough for what I need. So I got the tarp here, the cord. Try setting this up for the first time. Alright, up. Let's have a 
look at the shelter for the first time. So that uh, all the branches I cut off, this, I ended up using that to make some stakes. Much more happy with this configuration. Big lean too. Made it with a little bit of a awning. Get right back there. I used the toggle on the back to keep this stretched out. This is a huge space. Nice, nice shelter. There's a lot of configurations. Um, as I play with this more, I'll, you know, next time I'll take you along a little more. I'm just trying to figure it out too myself, but I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's a good material. It's thick, sturdy, waterproof make a great shelter it's a good color too especially in a survival situation i think i might get another one but in green though a little more a little more hidey but uh yeah no i'm actually quite impressed with this it's uh, i can't wait to actually do an overnight or i actually want to do one right now but i can't but soon Well, now it's finally time to get the old saw that I bought a try. I'm pretty excited about it. Works down together pretty good. And see how well she bucks. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty good size wood there to be <coughs> bucking up with the little buck saw. Pretty impressed. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, I opted for the 24 inch so you can get that good stroke in there. I actually, cut the wood efficiently.
All right, getting ready to have a fire. Probably gonna have it out here on this point right here. Get a beautiful view. Um, just gonna clear away some of this moss here. Some grass. I'm not gonna have a big fire or anything, but. Okay, made a bit of a fire deflector here. Got a little bit of tinder I found running around in the woods there. Let's give us a little try here. Don't have a lot of luck with this freaking thing. Like this is a good idea. How's it going? So, today I'm making a bit of a breakfast. There's a plan out of the old belly. So I brought some avocado just for fun, for color. A few eggs. An onion, some green onion, a little bit of garlic, and some bacon. 
We'll definitely get the bacon going first because we need to get that crispy and then use the grease to cook everything else. I'm just gonna chop it up because we're making like a breakfast scramble. Throw it in the fire, we'll use a stick to get her out, but she'll start cooking. It's hot. All right. We're gonna get that garlic out. We put this avocado in the bag for now so we can utilize this pan. Mm. Onion. We need a lot of onion. We also have the green onion. Like my onion. Stream us up to a nice coat. So, so far the bacon, uh, the white onion, and some garlic are still frying away over there as you just saw. Now I'm gonna cut up some green onion. This goes in with the eggs at the same time. Yeah, first time cooking with the billy. Kind of excited. Um, so far, everything's looking pretty good. Sizzling really nice. Need to get more utensils too. But neither here nor there. Up a bit. Warm.
close to getting ready to throw in the rest. Little Billy. Okay. Green onion. Eggs. Let's get over the cliff, some bear will get it. There we go. So that's just onion, bacon, an egg, garlic. Um, cooked in the old belly can. You know, we'll stir that up in a bit. So the eggs cook touch. And then we'll be eating. Perfect. So, finished cooking. Now just started eating. Um, yeah, so we got, just like I said, onion, more onion, egg, bacon, topped with some avocado. This is delicious. Mm. And garlic. Beautiful day. Get out in the woods, up on this bluff here, cook some food, play with some carp. It's a good time. Well, I'm going to enjoy this, catch up with you when I'm done, and then we start taking things down and packing up again. So that was a great meal, really delicious. So we'll just talk about the items here real quick. So the zebra pot here, cook great, it's exactly what you would want. Um, you could also get a stick rigged up and have it over the fire so it doesn't like burn as much. Um, didn't burn too bad, but you know, it's gonna be quite the clean out for this one, but that's okay. It's all stainless steel anyways. Um, I like the, that it came with the extra little saucepan there slash dish for help prep work. And the cool part about this thing is the handle, when you lift it up, has these two locks and it holds your lid on <clears throat> nice and tight so that's nice so that's the zebra pot so the the agua boreal 24 inch buck saw here uh foldable it's amazing it cuts wood nice and good uh, i used it quite a bit out there in the trees cutting extra firewood because i thought it was even more didn't film at all but yeah no she cuts like she should <clears throat> nice and lightweight Nice and foldable, you can hide it away, nice and securely. The only problem is, like I said, wish it came with the sheath. But you buy that separately, I will be buying one, but it's kind of cheesy it didn't come with one. <laughs> but it's very comfortable, very sturdy, nice to use. And then this tarp, um, yeah, I only tried a couple configurations with it, but there's 
Uh, there's tie out points everywhere on it. You can do all kinds with it and do all kinds of shelters, lower shelters. It gets a tarp above your head. <coughs> it's nice. Very thick. It blocks out the sun. Like you see it on my leg, but up here, nice and shaded. It gets you out of the sun so you don't have to cook. Um, and it is getting pretty warm out there today. So those are the three items. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take all this down and then pack everything up. And then. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I that's how good it was. Um, yeah, I'll touch back with you guys after I'm all packed up, squared away, and ready to go. Well, this concludes today, today's video. Um, I'm just gonna walk down this mountainside, down through the trees, and back to the truck, and start heading back. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah.